update now on the sea and cucumber that I purchased um, from Crap and Corals. Um, so when I'd got it home, quite a lot of people um, told me how scary they can be. <laughs> if they get stressed out, they can wipe the whole tank out. Um, now I did do a lot of research once I had purchased um, as when I was in the shop, I was just told that they were a filter feeder. Um, I wasn't kind of told about anything that, that they could do to the tank. I didn't know that they could wipe it out, and um, that's for certain. Um, anyway, after doing quite a lot of research, it does say that they do get stressed out if the tank um, water column and all of the um, different elements are all over the show um, and also your salinity, if that's up and down, your alkalinity, if that's up and down, it can affect it. Um, however, my tank's quite stable now um, and I am testing really regularly um, and everything seems fine. This sea cucumber's been in here now for maybe two weeks um, and I've had no problem with it. It has sat in that exact same spot for the full two weeks and just now and again, um, probably on and off throughout the day, um, these little the top of the head comes out, um, stalks I want to say, and um, they come out and that's how it feeds and then they'll go back in again and then as soon as it can um, sense food it will pop back out again and just continuous feeding throughout. It does tend to come out a lot more during the night time um, I guess in the water columns a lot easier for them at night time. But yeah I just wanted to kind of show you, um, it's doing great and really don't be scared um, when you are purchasing something as long as you know that your parameters are all okay um, and that they're not jumping about everywhere because um, I think I would have quite easily previously been scared away from from purchasing something if I'd have known beforehand and um, so yeah thanks guys any questions just um, pop them in the comments bar yeah.